We are off to the Dwarven Kingdom to do what? To get a bunch of burly old men to build houses for us because all we got is fucking loincloths and mud houses. Let's see what's gonna happen in today's reaction. Amelt. See, Gopta's fucking leading the pack right now. Look, Giga Chad. Gopta is our guide? This guy's OP. Okay. <laughs> Goes even harder. <laughs> Don't push yourself. Giga Chad Gopta. He's tired from leading the pack, guys. Gelmud. A passing demon lord. Ooh, I don't remember what his face looks like, but his name seems in, like, uh, I recognize a name. What's his face? Whoa, the demon lords, but this is like caricatures. I, it, this is just random bullshit caricatures, right? They're not actually what they look like. It's just removed of thinking like, oh, that, was, that must be what like demon lords look like. There's a demon lord, he says. <laughs> Unaware of what he becomes in season two. <laughs> yeah, the hero that sealed Veldora with the same mask that the girl we meet later wears. Yeah, I cut your dad's head off, then I swallowed him in front of you. Nah, nothing personal. He does? <laughs> ah, but he deserved it. Fuck my dad. Okay. Oh, and his tail's still wagging. It's crazy how he still just ignores the fact that we just killed his dad in front of him. <laughs> He's not ignoring it, but still, you know. Oh. Look at this intel from Gopta. Elves. Okay, elves are there too. And Rimuru loves elves. This this isn't too off from what we see later, right? Because I remember there's like elf fan service in Dorgon. He really like elves. Bro's not listening to anything Gopta's saying right now. Remember, there's a hero named the dwarf, you know, the, the whatever the dwarf is, but you're just thinking about the fucking... These elves, these are so pointy in this one. Elves are hot. I like them dark elves, too. Yes. Giga Chat Gazelle. Undefeated for a thousand years? I don't remember dwarves fighting. I straight up don't remember. Are they like future seasons? In like season three, season four, are they gonna actually fight? Huh. Gopta got picked on. It's a little bit of a conflict there, wait. Gopta says something there. Here we are. Dwargon. Bro only cares about the elves. Why not both? Skilled dwarves and elves. Come on. Just Gopta? What do you mean, just Gopta? This is the legendary hero Gopta. That's all we need. So does everyone have to go home now or do they wait outside here? <laughs> we bring them out here. They just fucking chill outside the gates. All right. Be right back. <laughs> elves, elves, elves. Oh, it's a dark elf. <laughs> Who the fuck are these two? <laughs> so he killed it, right? I don't remember these two NPCs. You, this guy, look at the scar on his head. It, he looks like a fucking Frankenstein with a screw coming out of his head. All right, let him know what's up. There we go. Gopta, kill him. No, poor Gopta. Well, we're not weak anymore. We're not weak anymore. Yo, they're so racist. 
Don't hurt humans. But there's exceptions? But <laughs> Don't look. Don't look. Not water blade. I'm not gonna listen to that. Come on. <laughs> Oh, if they don't listen to us like this, we just use Mimic and use the Menace, right? Like Direwolf yelling? Let him know what's up! Yeah, NPC line right there. I can't get over the fact that he has a screw coming out of his head. Shape shift! Direwolf form! Nani? Even bigger, actually. Yes. Did it evolve? It looks way bigger, right? <laughs> Companion C, D, and E, dude. NPC number 5736, and you're right. Bro literally has a screw loose. Like, the screw coming out of his head is literally the other telling him his screw is fucking loose. <laughs> Oh, heavy hitting cut! Fire Buddha! That's the best one. Of all the voice acting, this magic wall was the best one. They kind of remind me of like the tuny, almost like cringe voice acting from Konosuba whenever we visit Megumin's um, village, right? They all say their magic incantations in a very funny way. Yeah. Okay. Listen to magic wall. Listen to magic wall. MAGIC WAR! Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> Yell at them! Scream! Oh, he's actually scared? He was actually scared? Menace. I can't, like, it, it sounds loud, right? It's supposed to be intimidating, but again, his high-pitched voice going, Ow! Not too intimidating. <laughs> we caused the scene. Is that okay? Yo, people behind us are fucking knocked at the entire line. Bro, the entire line to the fucking Dwargon Kingdom just got killed. Uh, yeah, you overdid it, dude. Report. <laughs> the Grey Sage fucking gives us like a break, analytical break, like after you like League of Legends or some shit. Whenever you die or something, you can see like the different stats, like what did the most damage, right? He's kind of like a fucking report. What? <laughs> 34 will shit themselves? Uh oh, we fucked up. Huh? Oh yeah, just a slime. Hello. And we're locked in jail. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't good to turn into a slime, actually. Giga chat go up to sleeping in a jail cell peacefully. Head of security Kaido. Yo, where are the victims here? Oh no, not Garm and his brothers. Potions, potions. We give them our potions that they realize our value and we get the fuck out. Then we have an audience with the king. Gazelle. We got some potions. We got some potions. Sir, take my potions. Because the cell can't look at the slime size. Of course he's going to get the fuck out of the cell. Potions. Yeah. Remove his body fluids. I personally wouldn't give it a try. It's kind of sus to like, just test it out right now. Okay, he's desperate. No. The cell can't contain the slime. Look. Look, it's so. What do they think is gonna happen if you put a slime in the cell? Did the potions work? What's up? Oh, Garmin and his brothers. Bald. Bald. 
あんたが薬をくれたんだってなありがとうよいえいえ腕がちぎれかけてて生き残れてもしかったありがとう Alright, we win the favor of the dwarf <laughs> Alright, this guy has no line, right? He only says, mm, 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 <laughs> does, does he ever? I remember because he comes back home with us. But does he ever say a single line ever? Or does he, does he just mumble? If he only says, mm, mm, throughout the entire light novel, that means that whoever is the voice actor for this guy in the anime is making the easiest fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> An audience with Gazelle, please. The king. Okay, wait, I think we go to the first blacksmith first. Hmm, where are the elves at? Where are the elves at? That armor is ridiculous. What the fuck? Hey, that was actually glowing sword. Is that the guy that we poached back home? Kaido's big bro. Yeah, this guy, we take home. He's like our lead uh, engineer back home, right? Kaijin, weaponsmith. Giga Chad Kaijin, dude. Look at his body. He's so jacked. Oh, bro. It's them. It's the three trio again. Okay, the three dwarf brothers of Kaijin. Oldest brother, Garm. Youngest brother is Mir. The youngest brother is the... And the middle brother, Dord. Garm, Mir, Dord. Kaijin has like the ultimate dad bod. He's just a nice guy. <laughs> he likes the compliments, doesn't he? <laughs> come back home and build our houses. Please? Please? Come back home, come on. The numbskull minister. Minister. Right! The minister and him have like some kind of jealousy? Kaijin does have the ultimate dad bod, though. Vesta. Vesta. Yeah, this guy! He's a piece of shit in the beginning, but I think he has like a crazy character development. Yeah. Should've knocked him out! アーマーサウルスが出てな。うう。あの鉱山はほとんど掘り尽くしてて、もう残ってないようだ。うう。しかもな、たとえ全部20本撃つのに2週間はかかるんだよ。Two weeks? Nah, let me remove this while your swords. なのにあと5日でこの剥奪も。Vesta's doing this intentionally, right? I think it's some kind of like petty revenge. Yeah, we have a shitload of those. We farmed so many of that. That's why that initial cave is so important. The fuck is this laugh? <laughs> okay. Magic ore! This is probably some kind of like extremely rare refined, right? Not just any normal stit you can find in the cave, but this is like the deepest, deepest layer, the most refined magical ore. Look, it's rainbow color. Impossible! Wait! Masaka! Mm -hmm. See how Rimura changes his voice? What is it? A cluster? Even better than just ore, it's a cluster. I wonder how much this costs here. It's probably a fortune. Come back home and build our houses. Come back home. Where are the elves at? Where are the elves at? Huh? Okay.
I thought he was gonna say like, yo, are there any hot elves around? Yes, come back home. Yeah, come back home and build houses. No? Okay. He accepts that easily? Rimuru just copied the sword. Copy it. Yeah, let me eat that sword. Enchanted Majesteel Core. Weapons imbued with it. What? It changes according to the user. And we eat it. Imagine they just start freaking out. How the fuck could you destroy a sword like that? But no, here comes the copy paste. Control C, Control V. Come on now, poop it up. Poop 10 more swords out. So you need the magic cores to copy them. Okay. Impossible! Now, nah, where's the elves at? Oh, Here we go. Elves? Say no more. <laughs> Butterflies of the night is the elf bar. Damn. Girls of all ages, from young to mature. That's a little sus there. Hey, hey, hey. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> He's never gonna talk. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this is what he wanted the most, though. Yep. Yep. And the elves are actually hot, right? Oh. Butterflies of the night. Oh, oh. oh my. Hi, yeah. Uh, what the fuck is this one and this one doing you? I don't care if they're 9,000 years old, if they still look 13, day 13, okay? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck with that last one? I think the way that the subtitles, right? It went elves? It went elves? Erifu. You know, like MILF. MILF, you know what the acronyms are, right? I think they're playing it. The Erifu. <laughs> I mean, elves, elves. Oh, they love the slime. Yeah, yeah. They love the elves. I mean, sorry, they love the slime. Right into the titties. This guy's living the dream. Hey, yo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and Rimuru right in the middle. God, this is so soft, so bouncy. God damn it, dude, he's so lucky. <laughs> oh, right. He's a fucking virgin. He's a 37 year old virgin. This is the first time he's touched titties? The first time he touches titties is through just like four different elves, just like just rubbing. Damn. That is a crazy first time experience. And think about it in classroom of the elite. Remember Iona Koji's first time touching titties? It was Kushi the fucking grabbing her saying, I'm gonna fucking report you for rape. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is the way to do it. Yes, he is. <laughs> Kaijin lost it. <laughs> <laughs> These dwarves are so funny. Like they're all bros. I love them. Oh. He just sits on our lap. Dude, the titties just like fall on his head too. Oh, oh, oh. Bro just keeps moving around, just shifting the titties on his head. Look, boing boing. Yeah, enjoy it while it lasts.
Damn, Gopta's fucking missing out. But that's the episode, guys. Again, pretty chill episode. Nothing too exciting is happening. We just travel around. We did flex on these fucking random mob characters, 7,437 and 7,438. This dude actually has a screw loose. That's what his character is, you know, just saying screw loose. It's kind of funny they did that, right? The Ranga turns into Ranga Mimic, you know, does the fucking menace. It just goes, oh, not too scary because we can hear his high-pitched voice still funny. Help the brothers. Bro, Gopta's still sleeping, though. He's just still in the jail cell while we're just with the elves, huh? Dude, that guy, he's missing out. This guy, is he really just gonna go uh, uh, throughout all two seasons? I don't really remember, but I do remember him being really funny. Holy shit, if he commits to the uh, uh, act, that voice actor, whoever's getting paid for, is gonna be fucking winning. Now, I think the drama between Kaijin and the Minister Vesta somehow results in us getting an audience with the king, and somehow this relates to them coming back to our place to build like houses and clothing and shit like that, right? But focus of this episode, the elves mm, they are nice but hey if you're still here if you'd enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care